Okay, so the Nintendo Direct aired last night. I'm going to show you my reaction of what I think were the best games from the Direct. Don't go anywhere. Switch, dude. Luigi. He's walking around. Luigi's Mansion. Why is it all HD and new? Definitely Luigi's Mansion. He's sucking all the ghosts in with his vacuum cleaner. Luigi's Mansion 3. Wow, that is a big one. I love Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. Wow. New Super Mario Bros. U is new Super Mario Bros. U. Which means it's you know, I used to love playing these uh, the new Super Mario games on the Wii. And uh, it's great they're bringing one now to the Switch. Luigi and Toad are all here. And if that's not enough, Nabbit and Toadette are joining in the fun as well. Long list of characters to play from. This is a great co-op game as well for the Switch because, you know, you could each use a single Joy-Con each. And you can just play it anywhere. So this is a great game. Any sort of co-op games like this, where you all play on one screen, where it's not a split screen, is really good for the Switch. Oh, they're bringing Luigi one as well. New Luigi's Brothers Wii U. Or Switch, I should say. Yeah, it's going to be good. One to get, I think. A great co-op game you can play. Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Oh, January 11th. That's not that far. Pokemon Let's Go. Yeah, this is one of the biggest titles of the year for the Switch. You know, Pokemon Go on smartphones had over 730 million downloads worldwide. So this, this is going to catch people's attention when this comes out. It's sort of like Pokemon Yellow, but all 3D. Why is there a Pokemon sitting on her head? Balloons? Oh, the animations look really good. You know, I used to play um, Pokemon on the original Game Boy, and you'd do an attack, and you'd see like a slight little animation, but in this one... It's a full-on 3D animation every time they do an attack, so that's it's really good. One to get, for sure, for anyone. Pokeball Plus? Nah, I'm not going to get it. Oh, two bundles. It's just a bit of decal, really, and a gold and yellow Joy-Con. Man, they sure know how to pack on the extras, don't they? Good. Town. So, yeah, I saw this before. This looks really good. It's from the makers of the Game Freak who make Pokemon, and it's like another RPG game. The graphics look really nice, and I really like the look of this game. These graphics, they reckon, uh, will probably look like the new Pokemon, not Pokemon Let's Go, the new Pokemon, the core RPG Pokemon they're going to release next year. So the graphics for that Pokemon game will sort of look like this. So it's sort of a cell shaded almost sort of a drawn look. Kind of like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Town. Yeah, it looks really good. City Skylines. Wow. So I played this on Steam. Wow, those graphics don't look the best, do they? So I, I played this on, um, on Steam. It's really good. Really enjoyable game. You sort of build, you build your town. It, well, you you build the roads first, and then you fill in the areas of what buildings you want to be built in those areas, like suburban business. Hmm. I wonder how that's going to work. Maybe use the touch screen. Because really, these sort of games are best played with a mouse. Although you could do it with analog sticks, but. Yeah, big game. Really big game for the Switch. Skylines. Typical PC game, this is. But yeah, that's impressive it's coming to the Switch. Civilization 6. 
So I actually played Civilization 5 on Steam for like 300 hours or something. And it's really good. I didn't play Civilization 6 yet. So this might be a purchase for me actually. Because I really like these strategies these type of strategy games so wow civilization 6 starlink so this is an interesting game this was actually its own game that ubisoft was making and then nintendo and shigeru miyamoto saw the game and they were like oh it looks like it looks like Star Fox. so they they gave ubisoft the Star Fox license and hence this game was born so this game wasn't actually first designed as a Star Fox game. It was actually designed as their own Starlink game, but Nintendo just gave them the uh, Star Fox license. Do a barrel roll. Looks good. I don't know if I'll get that straight away. Maybe I'll look for the reviews, but I mean, I like Star Fox, especially Star Fox 64. That was the best one. One on the Wii U that released I think a year, a year ago or a year and a half ago that that didn't get uh, very good reviews but maybe this was bad made by Ubisoft so well uh, FIFA 19 hmm. I think I probably have to get it and make a review because my FIFA 18 review was good or oh, 2k19 I played 2k9 uh, 2k18 on the switch for like a hundred hours it's really good Final Fantasy 12. Square Enix. Square Enix have got so many games on the Switch. They, oh, they do really well on the Switch. I mean, Octopath Traveler. Oh, this looks really good. Octopath Traveler was like a sellout. Did really well. Very high reviews as well. Final Fantasy 12. Wow. Final Fantasy 7 and their iconic scenes anytime anywhere This has got to be Final Fantasy 7 wow It's going to be Oh so it's not a remaster cuz it doesn't say remaster but eh, Final Fantasy 7 9 and 10 that's pretty good Super Smash Bros. What? Oh. A hardware bundle. Mm. It's just some decal on the dock. I think that's worth it. Right. I would definitely be getting Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I won't be getting that. And you only get the game download. You don't actually get the cartridge. Sounds like a bit of a rip-off to me. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, though. Definite buyer. Oh, look. And they put a little cross on the Joy-Cons. And they probably charge, like, £100 for the Joy-Cons. Something ridiculous. Okay, so that was my reaction to what I think were the best games from the Nintendo Direct that aired last night. Let me know what you th thought were the best games by commenting below. Uh, I'm going to put... There were a whole bunch of other games that were announced in the Direct. I'll put a list here to show you what games uh, were announced. Also, there were other games that weren't in the Direct that have been announced for the Nintendo Switch. For example, Saints Row 3 was announced. Grand there was rumours of Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to Nintendo Switch for... Uh, for a while but that never happened so instead Saints Row 3 is coming so yeah let me know what you think were the best games from the direct and let me know by commenting below thanks for watching and please subscribe